Help wanted. We see these signs everywhere. On the news, all we hear about is the worker shortage. What does it mean for you if you don't hire enough people? Will you lose contracts? Lose throughput? What's it going to do to the bottom line? One of our customers was in a similar situation. Every day, they started from behind. They weren't meeting their throughput. So maybe you start a second shift or hire more people. If only you could find them. Here's what we did to help them. We took this cocktail napkin of their plant and we converted it into plant simulation. We made this accurate model and then we wanted to see what is their throughput today. And using the model and their actual metrics, we were able to find that they were having a throughput of just under 2,000 parts. We analyzed the plant and then we found that one line happened to be the slowest. Ironically, it was the newest. So we thought, what if we added in a buffer? And then we had the folks that were working on this line, we have them come in one hour earlier each day. That way they could fill the buffer. What were the results? Well, remember, previous to this, it was just under 2,000. Using plant simulation, we were able to get 2,277 parts. That's an increase of 16%, and there were no additional people hired or no additional equipment. That 16%, what does it mean? $15 million annually. When they implemented these changes and they found this savings, they were actually upset because they realized with such a simple change, they could save so much. They had been leaving $15 million on the table for a few years. How much are you leaving on the table?